Uh, welcome back to the uh, world of home automation. Horny gerbils, look at that. That's what a horny gerbil looks like. God knows why. Uh, and hats that my girlfriend hates that look like this. Don't know why she hates this hat, I think it's glorious. Um, welcome to partial nudity too. Um, so the idea of this video was to give you an idea as uh, to how you can control your PC uh, with the power of your mobile phone. Um, so you've seen probably, if you've seen any of my other tutorials, videos of me controlling my PC with my voice to turn lights on and off, uh, to set an alarm and to reset an alarm and uh, to control XBMC and to do various other things. Uh, all of this can be done with your mobile phone too, uh, with some very simple applications. Um, you could either use Event Ghost, which will allow you to control anything, um, but it involves a little bit of setting up if you wanted to control all of your XBMC media sensor and all those sorts of things as well. Uh, you could use XBMC media sensor remotes made by the XBMC team, uh, which you can just download from the App Store. Um, or you could use Vox Wave, which is uh, like an add-on for Vox Commando if you like. Um, so this add-on will allow you to not spend £100 on one of these things, uh, but instead use your mobile phone as a microphone. Um, Yes, my microphone that uh, continuously seems to want to tell me that things are going on with embarrassing Sonic the Hedgehog sounds. Uh, so, without further ado, this is me controlling my PC with my mobile phone. Okay, so uh, this is the easiest software to use, really, is the XBMC remote. Uh, it's easier to install than anything else, um, and it's easier to use than a lot of the other things as well. Uh, so you've got a sort of standard remote control that I can use to browse through windows and select stuff. Um, so the remote control works in exactly the same way as you would expect it to. Uh, you've got a movie section which should just give me a list of all the movies that are currently on my PC. There we go. Uh, so 10 things I hear about you, let's give that one a go. Uh, as you can see you get the cover art and uh, you can get the movie description if you scroll down and all the actors and stuff so fairly useful stuff uh, if I click play movie you see it will start to play on my uh, PC and I can skip through the movie there we go uh, and I can pause the movie and I can stop the movie so I can do all those good things so all those movies are uh, on my PC and you can pick them by artists and by uh, various uh, genres or by the folder structure in Windows as well. Uh, I can browse my TV shows in the same way. Uh, ashes to Ashes or Arrow rather. Perhaps slightly less embarrassingly than the 10 things I hate about you I just pressed um, a moment ago. Nisha's movie, obviously, not mine. Uh, and so you can you can pick TV shows and see the synopsises and stuff in the same way uh, and play an episode. So that's XBMC Remote. Um, it's also got uh, music and you can browse your pictures and stuff as well and obviously now playing will just take us to whatever's playing at the moment uh, you can queue up playlists and stuff so it's good for house parties for queuing up music um, so a nice little addition really to XBMC if you don't have it already uh, Alexander stop so uh, ignore me um, so that's XBMC remote uh, other useful things are event ghost uh, so I'll show you Event Ghost now. Uh, Event Ghost looks like this. There it is. I was probably on the right screen already. A complete idiot. Uh, so there's Event Ghost. These are icons I've created. Um, so basically, with Event Ghost, if you've not seen it before, it's uh, it's server-based software. So it sits on your computer. Uh, and it's listening out for events and off the back of those events it carries out actions and you can build up uh, any number of actions really for me I use it for switching lights on and off and uh, I use it for controlling XBMC2 via my mobile phone primarily which is uh, why I'm showing you this demonstration uh, and I also use it for this thing here it's the Logitech Harmony Remote uh, so the Logitech Harmony Remote um, 
it works great for Windows Media Center and it works great for various other things but if you want to use it for XBMC uh, it can be a little bit finicky and that's how I got into Event Ghost in the first place before I realised uh, the power of Vox Commando and therefore didn't really need that anymore um, so Event Ghost then uh, I built these events so these appear in Event Ghost as events um, um, the nice thing about Event Ghost is you can turn these icons into widgets uh, assuming you're familiar of course with Android uh, a widget being something that you can place on your main screen um, and have things happen off the back of it so I have uh, a different launcher from the sort of standard Android one I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head it gives me this nice little ability to do that so I can scroll along these bottom icons uh, so rather than just having my phone and my messages and that sort of thing I can move over to these icons that are from Event Ghost uh, and they are volume up, volume down, pause and uh, backwards and forwards uh, I've also got turn all my lights off, uh, turn the side lights on uh, play a waterfall sound uh, you'll notice Vox Commando continuously listening to me uh, shows just how well it works uh, watch NBA TV uh, and switch the projector off um, these things are uh, created solely really for the purpose of me being able to control things whilst Nisha's asleep uh, Nisha works um, as a midwife and so she does a lot of shift work uh, she can sleep through pretty much anything except for me uh, nattering away to the computer so I tend to watch a lot of TV while she's asleep um, and so therefore I need control over these functions really ideally um, so without further ado I say that a lot um, Alexander play movie 10 things I hate about you playing movie 10 things I hate about you so obviously I'd use XBMC remotes to pick that uh, if Nisha was asleep. Ignore me. And I'll show you I can turn the volume up. So that's the PC volume rather than XBMC's volume. Put the volume back down. I can pause the movie. And resume the movie. Uh, I can bounce the movie forwards. I'll bounce the movie backwards. Uh, or I can switch all the lights off in my bedroom. And then switch the side lights on. Uh, so all done with these two buttons here. Um, switch the main lights on. Engaging. Dim the main lights. Adjusting the main lights. Um, so then I've got the waterfall sounds uh, so you can see that's now launching the waterfall in XBMC um, so I tend to use that when I can hear a noise outside that hasn't woken Nisha up but is uh, causing me to suffer uh, I'll play the waterfall sounds so that I can get back to sleep and there are annoying children outside my house right now as I speak that if I was trying to sleep I would be drowning out right now <laughs> my gerbils are literally humping each other they're both female so that's quite hilarious uh, okay I'm not going to video the gerbils having sex I'm sure that's against some kind of YouTube law um, so that's the waterfall you can hear let's stop that um, and then NBA TV uh, if you've seen one of my previous videos it was me controlling mouse and keyboard and event ghost uh, this triggers that so and he says NBA TV because I am still yet to correct his voice uh, for that particular phrase um, and also this needs repairing for some reason they changed something in the mouse now it doesn't go to quite the right place but there we go that's working so I tend to use that every morning um, but if I ever wanted to watch it while Nisha was asleep uh, this would be the only way really of doing it without picking up the mouse and keyboard Alexander stop switch back to XBMC I can't believe it I am going to have to show you switch the main lights on they stopped and I can't focus how annoying
Okay. Dim the main lights. Lowering the main lights. Okay, and finally the projector. I can switch off. Or oh, back on again. There you go. Slightly blurry projector because I'm manually focused on my phone at the moment. Um, so that's Event Ghost and XBMC. The final one is uh, Vox Wave, which is uh, really handy because it can uh, help you not have to trail cables all over your house if you intend to have home automation around your house. Uh, and it can help you not spend £100 on a microphone uh, like I did. Um, I prefer to have the microphone sort of stand uh, in uh, permanently so that I don't have to um, get my phone out of my pocket. Uh, but this is a handy addition if you, like I say, have a bigger house and you want to be able to control things in other rooms. Um, so I can do things like, uh, well I can do anything that I can do in um, Fox Commando really. So, play movie 10 Things I Hate About You. Play movie 10 Things I Hate About You. There we go. Stop. So slightly delayed across the network, it isn't normally, it's usually fairly instantaneous, but it's not so delayed that I think you'd be particularly bothered. It also has a tilt function, um, so when it's tilting one way it is uh, it is listening, uh, and when it is tilted another way it isn't listening. I'm not entirely sure that's working right now. There we go. Clever stuff from the genius that brought you Vox Commando. Brilliant. Um, so when I get a bigger house I will probably make more use of that, uh, but again not difficult to set up. Uh, I should give you a tutorial shortly on how to set up Event Ghost uh, to receive events from your phone. Uh, that's all for now, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, um, like me, comment me, do all those things that YouTube people say you should do. Thank you very much, bye bye.